All right, everybody, the day before I'm gonna leave, I'm setting up the AT Atlas topper, the inside, the bed of the truck, the way I think I want it. And I picked up a temporary table. I'm doing all this prior to purchasing like the 8020 aluminum and doing more of a permanent structure inside the bed of the truck. Cause I wanna have room for a porta potty just so I don't have to get out of the truck at night, just for, you know, number ones. Um, yeah, I know we have to talk about that because we all have to wee and whatever else. Let me just show you what we're doing temporarily right now because this is kind of like, this is the first time I'm taking it out on a five day trek. So I'm trying to think of everything that I would possibly need as well as how I'm going to use this setup. So yeah, let me turn this around and show you guys. So what you can see is I purchased a table. It's a summit, mountain summit or something like that. It was like $130 at REI. I do like how it has a tabletop, has another tabletop, and then a third tabletop. So I can put like food underneath or and put dishes over to the right. What I was thinking about is getting a bin or something for there, just temporarily. Maybe like a milk crate or something or two milk crates, which will have to be bungeed down. And then over that way, I was going to get like a milk crate or two or whatever I can find. Maybe like an open bin. Well, maybe not open because of the um, bouncing around and stuff. I figured I would put like pots and pans and extras over there on top of that battery because behind there that's the marine grade battery that came with this topper. In the future I do plan on, plan on changing that out to like a lithium ion but then I have to change the whole setup. So right now I don't want to do that. It's working. I've had this fridge going for like the last four days. Nothing else unless I had the topper popped with the fan on. Underneath I did bring my blue eddy just in case if i needed more power because i'm unsure of the battery in the box how long that would last on like a five day trip i may be going into um because i know the campsite i have on diablo lake i think is covered like with pine trees and stuff so i might need the extra power that's why i'd like to upgrade to a lithium battery and then there's the fridge trust me this is a great fridge but it's just huge it's huge and that basically takes up all the room and then I want to put over here like right here as a small porta potty and I haven't even put like put in food or like a small amount of dishes yet I'm just bringing basics I am taking the half gen stove with me because I haven't even used it yet besides to boil water so we're using that on the trip but I am gonna bring a backup stove just in case the yellow bag up there that's my 12 volt electric blanket I don't have heat in here. I do have the insulation on the walls, uh, but I don't know what it's gonna go down to in the Northern Cascades. So I'm bringing that just for backup because I do have a 40 degree sleeping bag. Then over to the right, you see that, um, that white, that's a wet dry bag. That's actually, my friends told me about this um, at No Man's Overland. I use that for trash. You put a, tra you put a regular trash bag inside of that and it cuts down on the odors like you wouldn't believe. And it also prevents you from overstuffing the bag. So if you have to put it into a, like a smaller, if you don't have access to a dumpster or something, you can get it into like a smaller garbage bag, bar, ugh, a smaller garbage can or something. And then have to have my L bean boot. It remind me of the East Coast. And I do, I have the X-Pad up there right now. And Velcro is your best friend, everybody. Yes. I also put up um, the thermo, whatever that stuff is called. Um, well, whatever it is, it's just a protective film. I'm doing it mostly not because of warmth or anything this time of year, but because of um, lights. Because I did install lights in here and I don't, you know, want everybody spying on me, I guess. <laughs> and, oh, up here, which I'm going to show you on the trip, right here. That contraption right there, that's actually a light holder. Mike and Patty were gracious enough to give that to me. So I'm gonna try that out on this trip. If I like that contraption, so to speak, I'm gonna get another, maybe a couple more just for around the campers. I think they came as a two set because they have that in their setup. And then you guys saw my, uh, I'm not sure if you saw it on uh, YouTube or not, but that five gallon paint stick. That's what I tuck the fabric up with. And then there's the controller for the light system. And that's
that's how we're going to set this up for um, the next, let's see, it's, it's getting longer and longer, but I have to be back by next Wednesday, so it's Wednesday today, so I'm thinking like five or six days to uh, explore the Northern Cascade. So that's my setup for the next five days. And I find like with overlanding rigs, even with the Lexus, they're ever evolving. Like nothing's like permanent because you keep changing your setup. I think once I go to the 8020 aluminum, that's going to be more of a permanent setup. But I want to make sure it's right. Because I have to also think of, um, there's a lot of variables that you guys didn't even, uh, I didn't even show you in here. Water. So I want to carry, um, I have two of those scepters. Well, I don't have them yet, but I want to get two of those scepters with a pump and also maybe put like a sink in, maybe just a cutout with where I can lift it out and then dump it out or whatever, or maybe have something underneath. But mind you, this is a five foot bed. So space is of the utmost importance here. You have to make use of every nook and cranny. So. Thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned for the ever evolving adventure mobile and uh, yeah, thank you.